Right. Well, Bo wasn't fixed for the film uh, when I came in on it, so she wasn't um, an added attraction. Um, <laughs> but I, of course, it was a wonderful uh, piece of uh, good fortune for me, and uh, it sort of opened things up, as they say. I didn't like the title 10 for a long time, and I remember sort of saying, isn't there something else? You, I mean, it seems to be a bit too sort of on the nose, but mm -hmm. um, everybody thought it was a good title, and so I, and I was proved wrong, of course. Uh, I, I didn't know how it would do at all, and uh, there were very mixed uh, feelings about it uh, all round. I gradually got, I always go through great periods of depression when I see rough cuts, you know, it's yeah. very depressing to see comedies in those early stages, so I didn't really know. I, I liked what I was doing in it, you know, I, mm. I, I, I enjoy what I do. Luckily, um, but I, I just didn't know how it would do commercially. No, it's, it was a great source of, uh, of uh, pain to me, you know, when I was younger. Mm. But I'm getting very old now, and I can't, I can't keep on being upset by it. You know, I've only got a couple of years to go. Yeah, well, when you get beaten up, you, there's only one way to stop them, generally, if you're small, is to make them laugh. Well, I am tall enough for Sophia. She just doesn't know it. <laughs> uh, if you're tall enough for Susan Anton, Sophia's a dwarf. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I don't, I'm no longer bothered by my height, mm -hmm. actually. I used to be very, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of small men are. I'm very suspicious of small men, because I, I know what they've been going through, and I don't mm -hmm. like it at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I started when I was six, playing the piano and the violin when I was 12, organ when I was 16, then I went to Oxford for four years and did two degrees in music and uh, came out, became a jazz pianist for a couple of bands, formed my own group and recorded about a dozen albums in England, soundtrack albums, I've done film music. And Oh, yeah, you ask any jazz musician why he plays jazz, he says, oh, for the women, <laughs> or girls, as they were in those yeah. days. Uh, it's just a more sort of direct music, it's a more mm -hmm. visceral thing, you know. You, you can flirt with people with jazz. Well, I just hope that, you know, the way it's been received up mm -hmm. to now it will go on, because it has had an enormous reaction. Mm -hmm. You know, people tend to laugh a lot of it. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I hope that's an indication that will continue, but you can never be totally sure, I suppose, until it, until it actually opens. Yeah, I'm, in fact, I'm doing a serious film. Uh, well, a serious sounds so boring, doesn't it? But I'm yeah. doing a film where I don't have to get any laughs uh, uh, for polygram pictures. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. It'll be quite a, quite a vacation for me not to even think about getting a laugh. But I hope it, it'll be a film where I won't suddenly say, well, now I, I'm not going to be funny, I'll just mm -hmm. be serious. I, I think I, I, you know, you can combine comedy with a serious role. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not taking over from Clouseau. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, most things about me are unnatural, I have to <laughs> preface. Um, yeah, it, well, I... I get carried away with it directly, I do it, you know, as a matter of fact, so it doesn't become unnatural, it isn't unnatural for long. Um, but it's certainly an effort just to start it off, and we, when we were doing those scenes with the laughter, <laughs> I found my stomach muscles um, rebelling a little, uh, just through the sheer effort, you know, mm. but it was fun. I like to be uh, really amused before I laugh, otherwise uh -huh. it can be very, uh, mm. very tiring. <laughs>